Welcome back. Today we are finally going to start gameplay on our Bridge Simpton challenge uh, for the Bridgerton families. And of course, we're starting with Daphne and Simon. So I did want to just update you on some things I did in the meantime. I gave everyone estates so that they would, you know, have wealth. And then also I um, added in some just like random, you know, noble lords and ladies just so that we could have, you know, have some people to fill out the world. I'm not really planning on playing with them per se, but I wanted them in here. Seb Marin made them, so we put them in. And then also I made a household of servants so that we could use the royalty mod to call them uh, and have them be, you know, doing their thing. And then I did add one more family, and that is the Hino family from Pink Sugar 90. I made this a Baron family, so um, even though I'm not using it for the Japan playthrough, but uh, the eldest brother is, is, both of them, are taking care of their younger siblings. So um, I'm going to say, put them in the spreadsheet here under families. And um, after their parents' untimely deaths, Nobutada had to take control of the household and become responsible for getting his siblings married off while he, without focus, time to focus on himself. Um, and he's like a f loyal and a geek and a genius. Uh, Ren spent a lot of time in the army. He's active since he was the second son and hoped to make enough to stop being a burden on his brother. Uh, he's also loyal. They're all very family oriented. But then there's Nanami, who I think could potentially be fun to have because I was thinking like last time... I was like, I didn't make any ladies for um, Amelia to like be friends with. <laughs> so I figured we should add in some more ladies. So Nanami is a perfect lady and won't settle for anything less. Well, okay, well, I wrote that really poorly, but she hopes to increase her family status and live comfortably. She's high maintenance. She's jealous. She's proper. So we'll see about that. So these are the families we're going to start with. Obviously, the world will continue to get bigger as uh, we add more uh, Bridgerton Sims in. Oops, wrong family echo. I put everything in the same browser. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are going to start with Amelia. Again, let me know if you have any ideas on flushing some of these Sims out more. These are just my preliminary thoughts. But we have uh, Amelia Bassett, who we said Amelia has always idolized her parents' marriage. She wants to find the perfect love match and is not afraid to wait for it. So we'll start there and then we'll get over here to the actual gameplay. So let's see, where should we start? Getting ready to debut, probably. Um, oh, also, let's do this. Randomly occurring scenarios. So these are drama things that are going to happen uh, throughout the time we're playing. I, I don't know yet how often I will roll for this. We'll just kind of see how it goes. So one, two, three, four, five categories. So... Um, I guess there's no way to say like one through five. Can I do a five? No, I don't want to add modifier. Okay, well, let's do a six and we'll, we'll see what it says. Okay, four. We'll go with four. So four is disaster. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, and there are ten things in number four. Number ten. Oh, my gosh. What is number ten? The kingdom is in... Okay, well, I don't know how well this is going to do for... The kingdom is in danger. Pick a villain inside or outside the kingdom to try and take over. Rule a D20. One through four, the king is deposed and a new ruler takes place. Okay, so this this was for if you were playing rotationally. Let's say, like, the family. Let's say that someone is, like, out to get the Hastings family. Uh, let's roll a D20. Okay, and they do not succeed. Okay. <laughs> we are just going right for it right away. Um, okay, so uh, let me... I don't even know what to do here. Let's go into notes um, and put Amelia and someone tries to uh, ruin the family, but they do not succeed. Okay, you'll have to let me know what you think about that. 
I don't think we're going to be able to do that today. Like, I think that's something we're going to have to build up over time. I don't know yet if I'm going to roll every time I play or if we should just do that one roll and have it go for all of Amelia's time or if we should compound the rolls. You'll still let me know what you think about that. But we, we can't do that whole story today. <laughs> That's just not possible. Um, okay, so let's just say that she's ready to debut. So let me see. Okay, uh, all the daughters should have a musical skill. I think I did fix her up already, though. Oh, what was I saying? I was showing you the Hino family. But yes, here they are. Um, okay, so let's go into the Hastings house. I think I did fix her up with the skills. I'm trying to remember. We're obviously not going to do all of this. We're, we're playing fast and loose with these rules. <laughs> um, okay, so a family, a letter of invitation can be obtained by the upper class. Okay, well, we don't need a letter of invitation because, you know, we are um, already a noble family. Let me just fix their needs really quick. You know, I'm not good at that. Also, at this time, Daphne is currently pregnant. She has just realized that she's pregnant and um, she's having a late in life baby. <laughs> so that will be her her fifth baby. But we are not playing with Daphne, although we will like if the rule said like have a baby out of wedlock. I mean, I guess we could get Amelia pregnant, but like if we feel like something is not appropriate, we won't do it. We're like I said, we're playing fast and loose with the rules. But if we think that we can make something work, we will. So we'll have to think about who's going to be the family that tries to undo uh, the Hastings. So, OK, well, it's three in the morning. Um, I did have her present to the queen already using the mailbox because I didn't want to just wait for that. And she actually got being the diamond. So she is the diamond of the season already. I love that for her. I also added noble treats and everything to everyone else. I just wanted to do some of those easy maintenance things because I figured that that would be boring and I wanted to get straight into gameplay. So I'm pretty sure I added her skills. I did. OK, so she has skills. I guess we could have our sisters working on their skills because, and I do want to have the debutante ball, but it's still four in the morning. <laughs> so how about musical skills? Uh, how about you go play uh, the piano and then painting? Do we have an easel around here somewhere? I know I had one for the, I have one in Daphne's inventory, I think, but. Let me see. I don't think I have one just lying around. <laughs> um, okay. Let's uh, let's put one somewhere. Wait, is that just on the floor in the middle of the floor? <laughs> okay, let me sell that. Um, okay, where should I put it? I guess I'll put it in the library. Daphne? Nope. Whose inventory is it in? Oh, it's actually in Amelia's inventory. Okay, and we'll have Caroline work on her painting skill. And also the sons have skills that they need to work on as well. Music, painting, etiquette. Let's go for logic with him for now because that's easier and I don't want to go right back into, um, what's it called? There's the chess table. I don't want to go right back into build mode. Be mean to a child. Great. Anyway. So Amelia is ready. Why don't why don't we have her? Where are you going, Daphne? The guitar. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. Um, why don't we have uh, Daphne and her daughter come and have a conversation prior to the debutante ball? So they are going to have a some time together. They're both wearing their bonnets, um, which they don't really need indoors, but I put them those on their hot weather and their um, cold weather outfits. So everyone's wearing hats for their hot and cold weather. Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Sit, sit, sit. I want you to talk to your mom. Um, so yeah, Daphne's just going to give her some advice. She's going to tell her a little bit about, I mean, I'm sure that the kids have all 
had conversations with their parents and heard about their parents' love story and everything. I don't think they know that it was a ruse, but I think that they probably know that their parents had... Oh, uh, hey, Simon. Simon wants to be a part of this conversation. Um, but yes, so I think that they've probably told their children that they started off as friends and, you know, it's good to be friends with someone before you... Um, you know, decide to marry them. And they've talked about like how they didn't initially plan on being together, but then, you know, it all worked out somehow. Probably like a, a little bit of a toned down version of I took your mother's clothes off in a garden and got caught by her brother and then she fell into a bush and then her entire dress got ripped off because apparently that's something that can happen in real life. <laughs> uh, their book was kind of wild. Um, but yes, so I want to try and and make a lot of stuff happen. So I don't know how long it's going to take us to get through each debutante, but I think that it'll be fun to just play as we go. We'll see what happens. Um, this will be Amelia's social season. If she gets married this year, she gets married. If she doesn't, she doesn't. But we'll kind of see where we go from there. So... She's having this conversation with her mom. She, you know, is telling her mom that she really wants to have a, you know, love match and that she is willing to, you know, potentially wait multiple years if that's what happens. You know, Daphne herself, not in the show, but in the book, Daphne was actually um, in her like third season and she hadn't had, I mean, she had had proposals, but she didn't have, you know, anything striking to her. Um, and she felt like a lot of the guys that she was interested in only saw her as a friend. So she's just going to kind of talk to her daughter. We're just mixing up between the TV show and the book. Obviously, because we're probably, well, I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but it's a possibility that we'll get to characters we haven't met yet. So anyway. Um, we are going to just continue to have them hanging out and spending time together before we send the, her siblings off to school and then um, we'll send them off to school and we will uh, have her have the debutante ball. So let me just send all students alone. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go here. We'll start a social event and we will have the debutante ball. So let's start with that. Let me read a little bit here. Um, Depending on how you choose to play this, your debutante may be a teen or adult. The important social event is usually a ball where a young lady will be formally introduced to people of similar or higher social standing in hopes of attracting a good marriage prospect. Such events are usually reigned by families of nobility, influence, and wealth. They can take place either at home or organizing um, family or the local assembly room, such as debutante balls, to take place in the spring or summer, and the following dress code is... okay. Okay, formal gown with long white gloves, formal wear. Okay, I was going to be like, nobody's wearing white, and I'm not going to get them all white outfits. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's see. Debutante ball, debutante ball, where is it? Here it is. Is that the one? Let me just double check, because I think there might be multiples in here. Okay, yes. Um, okay. Ball host, uh, I mean, we'll say that it, even though it's supposed to be the queen, but we don't have a queen. Um, honestly, I think that after reading Hyacinth's book, I think Hyacinth would take over for La Lady Danbury um, as like the, she she very much admires Lady Danbury. Um, let me go to, let me just hire these roles. And then there are no royal sims, so debutantes. Okay, so here are all of our debutantes. I made sure they were all noble ladies so that they could be invited to the debutante ball. And then we'll invite everyone else, I guess, who's not a debutante. So the men will be here as well. Those are, oh, I ran out of space. 
Um, okay, well, I'm sorry. Some of the Bridgertons are going to have to get axed. Because I want some of the men to be around. Okay. There's no Royal Debutants. Okay, and then we're going to go to... Um, I think I put it back in... Hey, hey, hey. Where is... Windenburg. Can I not have it there? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, this is BS. Okay, hold on. Where can we have this? Um, it shouldn't be at our house, though. Um, shoot. Ill prepared for this, obviously. Where's like a good. We might just have to pick somewhere and then. And then um, replace it. Okay, let's go back to the bar. We added that. Nightclub. Okay, we don't need a nightclub. Okay, we're going to go here, but we're going to have to replace a lot because obviously. <laughs> Um, I was expecting a ballroom, and I can't do that because I guess I can't have it in the place I want to have it, which is kind of annoying, but. Oh, and your outfits. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, hold on. Let's go to here first, and then I'll go to the gallery. Item name, ballroom. Lots. 30 by 20. Um... Oh, it didn't work. Ballroom. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Hold on, let's look inside. It's good, but... This is better. Just because this has more rooms. The other one I like, but it just has the ballroom. And I want to make sure that we have space for, like, you know, drawing rooms and other stuff like that. So let's take a look inside here. Okay, so the upstairs is where the food is at and some gambling and some dance floors. Oh, is everything upstairs? Hold on. Downstairs is, oh, more dance floors and a stage. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. Some bathrooms. All right, I think we're in good shape. Let me just add. Um, okay, there is everything you need down here. So let me sell some of this. Well, actually, I want one of them. And then... What we need is a something that plays music, <laughs> even though we're going to pretend that the band is playing music, but obviously that's not something that actually happens in this game. Oh, they already have something. Oh, I love this creator. Thank you. Um, so let's look for an aisle, hidden wedding aisle. No, let's get some flowers. And I'll throw down a couple of seats. No, people were standing in the um, show. Oh, I always make these the wrong direction. And then we want a debutante arch. We need that is what we need. Okay. Now let's try this. <laughs> um... So first, I'm going to come over here and change everyone's outfits because how dare you. Um, okay, here's her outfit. Dad, where are you? His outfit. And Daphne's outfit. I mean, I appreciate that they put everyone in, in color or... I guess the boys can stay in black and white, but if I see a girl, I need her to be dressed like a debutante. Actually, you know what I should just do is start a society gathering and have everyone come and sit together. 
so that they're all in the area. Okay. So we shall start. Oh, I see. I see a lady. I see more than one lady. Well, I don't care about you, but if you're a debutante, you have to change your outfit. How about that? New rule from me. So let's start with, should we have Amelia go first or last? Let's have her go last. Okay, so where is everybody? Um, okay, so we'll have Amira go first. So let's actions control sim. We'll have her, is this walk up or walk down the aisle? I'm really not sure. <laughs> so we'll have her come up the aisle. Nope, wrong way. You need to walk down the aisle. I'm sorry. Why are you angry? Stop. Come here. Okay, so here she comes. She's stomping down the aisle. Okay, but she looks a little, you know. We'll have her present as a de debutante. Let's do that. She bows before the non-existent queen. And... What? Ren just became good friends with Lady Amira. Or that's, yeah, he's Mr. Uh, whatever. Okay, good for her. Um, okay, so next we have, so Amira is the uh, illegitimate daughter of the Duke that he's passing off as his daughter. Oh, you're not even here. Come here, please, so that you can... Walk down the aisle. Did you change your clothes on me? Where are you? Where is she? Here she is. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Here is um, Imani Tempetope. So she's going to walk down the aisle very gracefully and debut as well. Then we have actions control sim. Please come down the aisle. Oh, yeah, Daphne is pregnant. Okay. You need to also change your outfit. Okay, everything's fine. And then present as a debutante. Oh, she's like crying. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's her, and then we have Girl Sim, walk down aisle. Now we have um, McKenna, who once again is wearing the wrong outfit, but her outfit's a little more scandalous than anyone else's. Everyone seems hungry. I'm going to serve some food. Okay. So she did fine. And then we have uh, Nanami. Are you here, Nanami? Okay, she, you are. Okay, so here's Nanami. Let's change her outfit as well. Here she is. Oh, she's tired. Interesting. So she's feeling great. Look at how happy she was. And she's debuting. Now, last but not least, we have Amelia. Okay, Amelia, time to walk down the aisle. There she is. She's doing well. Present as debutante. Let me see if I can get a picture of her. It looks a little weird, I got to admit. Yeah, it, I don't like it. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, so she has now debuted. So uh, let's turn on the music. And eat cake. We don't have cake here. But we do have, um, everyone can grab some food some hors d'oeuvres so let's do that and 
You can have sims uh, listen together. So that, that's three sims, at least, listening to classical music. Okay. I don't know why it doesn't count as three sims listening to classical, because this is classical, right? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, how about everybody dances now? Well, I guess dance isn't really the right... This isn't going to be the right type of dance. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know what I really want her to do is I want her to meet... Um, I keep forgetting her name. Nanami. Let's talk about society. So they are chatting. I did want to get her to, you know, maybe be friends um, with one of the other ladies. So she is the lady I made. Okay. Um, but they can become friends over time. I wonder how they actually like each other, though. Actions, first impressions. Oh, they like each other. Okay, I love that for them. What is her... Um... And they have amazing compatibility. Okay, they're going to be the best of friends. This is going to be awesome. Okay, uh, but that's not your point here, Amelia. Your point is to start meeting the boys. So Robert Joleaf, wherever you are, you're not here. Great. Everyone welcome the newest debutante. Okay. So Robert, oh, he is here. Okay, odd, but go here together, please. Are you having a bad conversation with your father? Probably Simon is being a little overprotective, you know? He is probably trying to, um, you know, not scare off the, the men, but kind of be a little standoffish if that makes sense like that he's trying to I don't know what I'm trying to say what what is Simon trying to do I think he's just trying to um make sure that his daughter has the best so first she's going to dance with Robert actually you know what I'm sorry but you know me I like cannot see in this game I am blind as a bat, so I am just going to add light everywhere. <laughs> Hold, please, while I make it very bright in here. <laughs> very, very bright. Okay. Good enough. See, isn't that much better? Okay, so let's have her... Let's take a picture of her dancing, of course. So she's going to dance with Robert first. Ooh, she finds him attractive. Hold on. Well, first, let me generate a first impression for them. Actions, first impression, generate. Okay, they have good first impressions of each other. Perceived as very attractive. Oh, my gosh. Love that. Especially because I think he's, you know, he's going to be the one that we eventually marry her to after all of her drama. Um, let's see, Anthony, Benedict, Colin, Eloise, uh, Baron, he is the other guy, right? Yeah, okay. Baron, why are you out here? Okay, we'll have to get a dance with Baron next. Oh my gosh, confess attraction. Is she just attracted to everybody? Um, I love that for her, but... Okay, so she dances with... Everyone, of course, wants to dance with her because she is the diamond and she is the daughter of a duke. So, obviously, they're going to want to dance with her. Get another picture of her dancing. Eh. Camera. Okay, so this is Lord Baron, the future Duke. Let's get a first impression on him. 
good. Oh my gosh, she gets along with everybody. Very attractive, good compatibility. Oh, did she not have compatibility with Robert? Hold on, let me check. No, she doesn't have any compatibility with Robert, but she has good compatibility with Baron. Okay. Then we have. He's not here. He's not here. No one's here. Okay. But what about you guys? Seriously, you guys aren't here either? Okay. Well, they're the only two boys that showed up, um, which is fine. Let's end the gathering. Actually, I really wish that I knew what the other men thought of her and vice versa. Hold on, let's let's pull them in here really quick, at least just to get first impressions. Okay. Lock the camera. Actually, okay. More choices, actions, first impressions, generate a first impression. Does that work? Ooh. Okay. And then the next guy. Wanna. Choices, actions, first impressions, regenerate. Ooh, very attractive, amazing compatibility. Okay, he's a good option. Let's let's have her dance with him, actually. Okay, Raza is next. Actions, first impressions, generate profile. <gasps> Ooh, he has a crush on her, and he, they find each other very attractive, but she doesn't like him very much. Okay. I feel like I should be writing this down. Should I be? Um, let me go back to my spreadsheet notes. Amelia, um, let's go like this a little bit and be like, uh, name, rank, and compatibility, attractiveness, her impression, his impression. Okay, so for Robert Graves, that was his last name, right? No, Jolief. It used to be Graves, and I changed it. Jolief. Uh, he is a um, future Viscount. Uh, no compatibility. Very attractive. Good and good. Then we had... Um, then we had Baron. Baron... Can't remember his last name. A uh, future Duke, even though he's illegitimate. Um, um, was it good compatibility? Yeah. Good, very good, good. Then we had Zane. Um, I don't know if she found him attractive. Yeah, as, but neither of them had good first impressions of each other. And then there was Buana, who is just coming up from behind with amazing compatibility, very attractive, and good first impressions. And then we had Raza, who I'll come back and add in titles for them if they need to be. But they're very, and she has a bad, but he has a crush. So he is 100% going to call on her, even if she doesn't like him. 
Okay, now we need these guys. No butata. No butata. Oops, that didn't work. Butata. And was it Ren? Was that his brother's name? Yeah. Okay, no butata. <gasps> is she flirting with him? Oh my gosh! You guys, who's she flirting with? Which one of them is it? I can't really tell. Juana. Oh my gosh, she's flirty. She's flirting. You guys. She is autonomously flirting with him. Okay. I like that for her. Let's get him next. Okay. Very attractive. Wait, how are they already good friends? Oh my gosh, hold on. What happened here? Robert, she's still acquaintances with, but Baron, she's already like really good friends with. And for the, how did this happen? I didn't do that. Well, very attractive, but it doesn't look like she has a good first impression of him. He does have a good first impression of her, however, um, however, he is right now focused on his siblings and stuff. I don't think he would come calling on a lady. Okay, very attractive and good and good. Okay, so very good and good. Okay, so this is all over now. Are you still flirting? Oh, now you're talking to, okay, do you have, okay, she still has no romance with anybody, but let's head home. It's now 10 p.m. We spent all day doing this. <laughs> this is why I was like, oh, become friends with Lady Amira. That's not going to be easy. She's like mean and evil and everything. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back to the instructions. Um. Debutante ball. Okay, if you're playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a lady has been, okay. Once nobler, okay, once you are presented to the court, you can finally take place in activities. Um, uh, we did that. Okay, so next, what are we going to do? Well, let me go over here and fill their needs because I'm not going to take care of them. Um, maybe she will come up here. You know, I'm going to have her sisters come and ask her how it went. Let's have her sisters come up and talk with her. They can ask her, oh, you disappeared. Oh my gosh, she disappeared. You guys. <laughs> Where did you go? Amelia. Ay. Okay, so even Daphne wants to take part in this conversation. We can't even see her. We cannot see her. <laughs> um, but they are going to have a conversation and talk about how it went. You know, I guess um, Caroline is the only one who's interested. I don't see Belinda coming up to talk, even though I asked her to. So uh, Caroline is interested in how it went, and she wants to talk to her sister about it. And she's just really interested in the whole thing. Oh, my gosh, she wants to kiss someone. Girl, you can't. Um, okay, so I think... I don't know if we're going to pin that, but I think that that's telling us that she is interested in getting to know the family of Baron a little more. So that's kind of telling us that she she wants to talk more to Baron. So let's go to Baron and I'll put a note here and wants to befriend his family. So that matters. Um, Amelia is still here, but we can't see her. So there's that. Oh, there she is. What happened there? <laughs> okay, so they are going to chit-chat and everything, talk to each other. 
now what I'm going to do with her as we get into the wee hours of the night. Oh, you still needed to work on your like skills and stuff, though. Let me come over here and we'll have her practice her um, piano again and we'll have her. Let's just put that in your inventory because you're not going to become a famous painter. OK, so you'll keep practicing your painting and you will um, practice your logic. OK, so all the siblings are doing their thing to get ready for their own debuts. Um, so, yeah, oh, she's like, OK, well, that's because her mom is playing music badly, but maybe she's a little nervous and she's talking to her dad about it, about how she's just. She's nervous, like everything is happening and she's so excited, but also it's like a lot of pressure. And yeah, so she's she's going to have a conversation with her dad about that. And I also want you to change your outfit because you shouldn't. What? Why? Why does that say? OK, outfit, change outfit. Let's just change her back into her formal wear. OK. So here she is. Oh, she's going to go talk to Caroline some more. I love that for you. I think that these two are probably closer. They just seem like they're closer. They're they're looking for each other. They're chatting with each other. You need to get to level five of the piano before I let you stop. But yeah, so Amelia is very excited. She is feeling energized. She woke up early today to meet with her suitors. Who just had a baby? <laughs> you guys. Um, okay, so. Oh, there's an easel in here. Well, I missed that. So it's almost time for the suitors to come. I wonder what will happen if I do the bring suitors here. Like, will it actually bring the suitors front that I made? Like, or will it? Let's check for invitations. Oh, OK, well, she just went to the horse races with Eloise. Um, <laughs> oops. Broken carriage. As Amelia and Eloise were traveling, they felt their carriage suddenly jolt to a stop. The driver informed them the wheel is stuck in the mud. Uh, Eloise would want to continue on foot. And I feel like as her aunt, Amelia would just go on with what she says. Amelia and Eloise decide to continue on foot. Okay, well, they lost some hygiene, but they're okay. Oops, you're supposed to be going to school. So are you. So are you. Okay, well, she's at the horse races. You're not going to have a little hygiene because I told you you're not. Send students alone. Oh, I should really fix that. Off, off, off. We'll just say that they're learning things from their governess, the ladies are, and then the brother is at school school even though I think he's supposed to be at like a boarding school by this point but whatever so anyway waiting for her to get home now I guess <laughs> I really didn't expect this I didn't think that she was actually gonna leave right away okay so but let's get her parents ready in the drawing room so um I think that Simon's gonna want to be there so here we go. OK, well, Simon left. Great. You know what? Why don't I have Simon and Daphne play chess with each other so that they don't leave? <laughs> OK, so she should be home any second now. And when she is, we will then call upon the suitors. I think I remember what I need to do. So <gasps> Lord Baron is inviting her out for breakfast. We should go. We should go. And, but we should bring a chaperone. Daphne's not too pregnant that she wouldn't come with her daughter. He invited her out. We have to say yes. Okay, so Baron has invited her out on a date. I feel like we should make note there. Invited on a date. These things matter. Okay, so she is here with uh, Baron and her mother as the chaperone. I mean, I guess they don't really need a chaperone if they're at a restaurant, but anyway. It's fine. So here we are getting a table together. 
She's very excited that the son of a duke has invited her out. Oh my gosh, she is totally into him. Oh wait, the whole... Okay, everyone came from the club. All right, well, um, I don't think that this is exactly what she had in mind when she thought that she was going to get to come out with him. <laughs> Why did she disappear again? <laughs> okay, uh, well, there's that. So I guess maybe, okay, this isn't a date. It is an event. It is an event that um, everyone is at, that everyone is... Um, you know, going to be attending, you know, the whole ton is attending. It's a banquet. That's what, what it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Well, you know what? It's okay. It's okay, Amelia. Maybe she thought it was a date and then was super embarrassed to show up only to find out that like a bunch of people are here. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, let's, I guess we might as well um, order for the table. Oh, the ladies are getting up. Where are you going, Daphne? Um, everyone can have something. I don't care. Uh, everyone can have uh, turkey. Oh, gosh. Poor Amelia really thought that... Anyway, is that Eloise? Yes. Okay, she wants to be friendly with Eloise, so maybe they can have a conversation about their... Um... Oh, wait, that's Daphne. I'm on Daphne right now. Um, okay, so what do you want? She still wants to become friends with Amelia, so let's focus on that. I mean, Amira, sorry. Let's gossip about the bachelors. Oh, what do you think? And all that stuff. So let's have them chat. Where is she? Why do you have to have disappeared, Amelia? Why do you keep disappearing? Is it something she's wearing? Oh my gosh, this is a mess. Look at the Sims just getting up and down and up and down and up and down. Where are you? I can't even see her, so I don't know. Oh wait, is Amelia even still here? No, she left. Well, I think we're going to end this gathering. And uh, for some reason, we're in the kitchen because there's that. <laughs> this is a disaster. Let's end meal and pay bill. Okay. Well, I did my best. Should we even talk to Baron? We didn't even get a chance to talk to him. Um, let's... Let's talk to him. Let's uh, brighten his day. Who are you talking to now? I don't even know. You're talking to just everybody. Okay. Well, this has been a total dumpster fire, but that's okay. Let's, let's just go home, honestly. <laughs> let's go home. <laughs> but it's already like too late to invite the bachelors over. Uh, okay, well, we'll just have to wait for tomorrow. Let's send everybody home. You go home too, please. Let's just go home. Well, that was a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. I mean, at least he invited her out, even if it wasn't a date. But that's okay. Okay, so here we are back home. Amelia, come here. And we're going to go back. Daphne is getting really pregnant. Uh, let's practice. You come over here. Put that in your inventory. And then practice your painting. You should be working on your logic skill. Wherever that was. It was back here. Okay. Um, play. Okay. And then Amelia... Where are you going to dance as always? <laughs> Let's say that this is Amelia's room. Let's have her come in here and talk to Daphne again. 
So maybe uh, Amelia is disappointed, right? She's disappointed that she has, you know, she thought that, you know, he was actually interested in her, but then it just ended up being like a, a banquet and she had gotten her hopes up for nothing. And, uh, you know, Daphne is just kind of like, it, he invited you out. He invited you out and he wanted to see you. He wanted you to be there. So, you know, it's still a good sign. It's not, you know, just because I did pay the bill. What are you talking about? Um, but, you know, she's saying it's still a good sign. Actually, I remember now what I wanted to do. Regency, declare intent to marry. So that's what she needs to do first is declare her intention to marry. And then after that, we are going to, I guess it's too late now. It's too late now to actually invite everybody over. Um, where are you going? You're going to dance? Well, how is everybody else doing? How are you doing on your piano skill? Oh, she's almost there. At level five. Level four. Okay, so she's at level five piano. What is next? Um, level five painting is next. I guess we'll have her come over here. Put this in your inventory. We'll get her. Hey, did I just put the whole easel in her inventory? <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, so classic painting, large classic painting. How are you doing with your art skills? Level three. Well, let's let's have her get on the piano now since it's free. Go practice the piano. Are you at level five yet? No. Okay. Belinda is in the lead here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have her. So, okay, so Amelia has now declared her intent to marry, which now means what I... I believe, oh, she can swear off marriage. That's interesting. What does that mean? It's not going to tell me. Okay. Yeah, she's just talking with her parents and stuff. I think that she's really close with her parents. Isn't that sweet? I think that's really sweet. So, Belinda is going to finish this painting. And then we will have, we're just waiting for the next day to start so that we can uh, bring over some suitors. What is this? Get a promotion. You don't even work. Put that in your inventory. Okay. You're still playing the piano. Level two. Logic level four. Okay. Well, at least he's improving. Okay. Simon is not going to be neat. That's okay. He doesn't need to. Wait, what was that? Everything does not seem going Belinda's way at all. Oh. Honestly, I think, didn't I make her awkward? Yeah, I think Belinda, she like wants to be the same as her sisters, but she's just so socially awkward that she can't like hack it. Like she's trying, but she can't because she's awkward and therefore is having a really hard time trying to get into the social scene and everything. So there's that. Anyway. Now we are going to acquire the violin skill. Okay. So we could have some scandal happen to Amelia. Any, what did uh, Violet say? Anything can be forgiven if, you know, you're a duchess or whatever. So large classical painting. Okay. So now that it's getting to be an okay time, she's at level three. She's at level three. He is, okay, he's about to get to level five. What do boys need to do? Any musical skill? Okay. As soon as he gets to level five, we'll have him, as he just did, um, I guess take up the guitar since Amelia is now interested in the violin <laughs> really poorly. Okay. He is jamming, yeah. Okay, and you are going to put that in your inventory. We'll do one more painting, and now we'll focus on Amelia again. Where are you going with your clay? Up to the servants' quarters where you're not supposed to be? Okay, so let's bring her into this drawing room. Sit. 
Oh, she's feeling really flirty. Oh, wait, look. Here are some flowers. Wait, did the suitors come and I didn't know? Hold on, put that in your inventory. Oh my gosh, I think they must have... Remember when we saw... You guys, it was the middle of the night. Why were you here? Hold on, let me go... Yeah. Oops. Also, you're married. You shouldn't be calling on her. But these two can. Oh, boy. Okay, well, let me go to Regency now, and then we'll do... How do I get the suitors to come? More Regency? Um... How do I get them to show up without, you know? I don't know. I guess they did show up and I didn't see them and I'm an idiot. That's fine. Uh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there used to be something that was like, bring suitors here. I'm certain there was. Well, okay, why don't we start a new club, and we'll call it Amelia's Suitors, and we will then add in the guys that seem like they like her. Okay, so Robert... Okay, this is tough because I feel like Robert is not really, like, focused on marriage right now. What did we say about Robert? Robert is always, he, okay, he vows to break the cycle of his parents' dysfunctional marriage. I guess he could come. Okay, Robert, you come. Baron, obviously. Um, not Zarin. Okay, Buana was definitely liked by her. And um, Raza would come, even though she doesn't like him. He has a big crush on her. And then I don't think that... I think Ren might come, but not um, his older brother. Because he's, like, so focused on working for the family. He's not really, you know, going to be calling on the ladies. Except I just messed it up because... What did I say after Raza? Okay, well, Ren, Ren doesn't have to come. Um, because I obviously did not make enough slots in this club for everyone. Okay, so her suitors, let's have them all come and sit together. <gasps> Daphne's gone into labor! We're a little busy, Daphne. <laughs> okay, well, she went into labor, so here we go. Oh, why is the camera having problems? Sorry, I'm focused on Daphne right now. Also, you guys should be in school. Sorry. So Daphne is having her fifth child, who we already know about. He is Edward. Um, yeah, Edward Bassett. So we already know he exists and he was born. So we're going to only start rolling for him later. So if they are born in the book, I'm going to let them be born. But we're going to roll for them. Whoa, a lot of things just popped up. Okay, Edward. Wait, shoot. Man, okay, hold on. Let me age him up immediately. Well, I can't, but also I forgot to change her last name to Bassett. Um, sim commands, maintain sim, rename sim to Daphne Bassett, which me, <laughs> Edward just got the last name Bridgerton. That was not supposed to be his name. Okay, baby care. Come on, I want to age him up. We'll rock him then and age up okay then I'll because I don't want to work on his needs so we're gonna make him an infant immediately so here he goes any day now I'll give him a makeover later I'm not really trying to do oh he's an angry baby okay uh, hold on, we're busy. Is everyone calling us? David's getting in trouble at school, of course. Okay, so here is um, 
Amelia with no chaperone. Okay, so obviously her mother is not available. So um, her father is going to have to be the chaperone. So all of these men have come to call upon her. And she's loving it. Let's see who she talks to, like, naturally. She's in a conversation. Oh, you guys. She already has romance with Baron. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't need a quest. Okay, she already has romance with Baron. Let's, let's, um... Let's get everyone in this conversation so that she can... Ooh, give favor. What does that mean? This guy. Okay, so let's... Lady Whistledown. Okay. Dear gentle readers, I must welcome a certain Lord Baron Savar to our dear ton. For those who arrive with gossip upon their entrance to society are always most celebrated by this author. A most gallant bachelor, Lord Baron Savar, comes from most questionable parentage will he rise above these scandalous whispers or is there more to the story yet to be uncovered in either case i can say that i'm certain i will have much to say on the matter okay so obviously there are going to be people who know like or suspect that he's not his stepmother's child because like you know he probably didn't come into their lives right away but oh my gosh okay Dear reader, it seems our diamond requires a closer inspection as such an even rare jewel of only the most remarkable brilliance of fire and luster has been unearthed. Her name unknown to most, yet soon known to all, is Miss Amelia Bassett. This author is left to wonder whether Her Majesty might reconsider her high praise afforded to Miss Amelia Bassett for all we all know. What a queen despises more than anything is being wrong. Several other debutantes are also foisted into society. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my gosh. She's already talking smack about us. Oh, my gosh. Probably because she didn't have any callers right away. Okay. Well, I think since she already has... Let me go to her romantic relationships. Baron is 100% going to want to court her. So let's Regency ask to court with him. So Lord Baron is now courting her. I don't know if we can enter into a courtship with more than one sim. Yes. Okay. So they are currently courting. Um, so Baron is in the lead, you guys. Oh my gosh. Baron is in the lead. I didn't want to create too much drama today because I wanted to like get the debutante ball and get everyone around and everything. So that is why. Oh, but it looks like Baron is headed out. Um, okay, so how do we think that these guys would act? Who was the one? Raza is the one who like really is interested in her, but um, she's not so interested in him. The rest of them all have good relationships. Let's see. Actually, I can go to Amelia Suitors. Okay, her and Ren are getting along really well, too. That's so interesting. Ren, but Ren is the second son. I mean, technically, he's next in line, but he's more like Benedict was. Um, but he is, you know, once his brother has children, he's not going to really be in line for anything. Um... But Robert is in line for something. So let's chat with him a little bit more. Let's not boast about your riches. That is awkward. What does give favor do? Ooh. I didn't know that it... Oh, she's being romantic. Wait, with Ren? I'm confused. She has a great reputation, though. Okay. I want to see it. Oh my gosh, she's flirting with Ren, even though I didn't even tell her to, so. Oh, you guys are just going to bring the baby out here. Got it? Cool, cool, cool. She's feeling very flirty, so. Anyone is fair game right now. It looks like Baron had to go, so that's not good for him, because he definitely would want to, um, you know, get involved there. 
Okay. Now she has some romance with Ren. Okay, she's doing really good. Oh, and now she's going to flirt with Buana? She is so funny. She's just flirting with everybody. Oh my gosh. Um... Okay. Um, yeah, she's doing great. Oh, I love this for her. Oh, she has, uh, now she's romantic with Buana. Everything is going really well. Okay, you have to flirt with Rob. Oh, Baron is back. Baron has come back. I wonder if these guys are... Okay, well, so obviously she wants to court with all of these guys. So let's ask to court Juana as well. And then also... Um, wait, I didn't even have her flirt with Robert, did I? I mean, I had her give him a favor, but... Okay, hold on. Ah, okay. Hold on. Yeah, our diamond doesn't require closer inspection because she has got all of these guys wrapped around her finger already. More choices, Regency as to court. Okay. Oh yeah, she is courting everybody. This is so funny. Okay, well I think we've let her uh, get to know her guys a little bit. I feel like Raza isn't going to give up just yet, even though she has not uh, flirted at all with him. Um, she's not really interested in him, but I don't think that he's going to give up because he wants to. Oh, my gosh. A proposal already. Oh, my goodness. Buana. Buana has just asked for her hand in marriage. She needs time to consider her options. Um. W okay, we need to figure out who Buana is. That's what we need to figure out. Okay, so he has just... Um. Is the baby crying? I can, like, hear the baby crying. <laughs> but your needs are met, so you're fine. Okay, so what we have... Let me go back to... Okay, so what we have are... Baronets. Okay, well, hold on. We have... No, they have to be titled. Baronets. Barons. Viscounts. Earl. Marquis. Duke and a prince. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, uh, there's no D7, so let's just do uh, and just like a um, a gentry. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Actually, let me put this at the beginning though. Cut, paste, gentry. Okay, and then so. Let's roll a D8 to find out which part of everything he is. He's a two, which makes him the son of a baronet. Let's see. And then we'll flip a coin to see if he's the first son or not. So there's no coin flips here. Coin flip. Uh, heads is yes. Okay, he is the first son. Okay. Okay, so Juana is a future baronet. That's not how you spell baronet. Baronet. Okay. And he has just asked her for her hand in marriage. Let's end the gathering because, you know, we should be done with that by now. It's also 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She, she got her first proposal. Uh, let's check for invitations. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she does want to be friends with Amira. So I'm going to let her and Amira go off and hang out. We'll pretend that it's not very late at night. <laughs> um, okay. So we have Belinda. Where were you? You were painting. Let's put this in your inventory and go back to painting. Ooh, now that Amelia and Amira are ready, where should they go? In the park, along the water, or on horseback? You know what? Let's roll for it. That could be a fun way to, to figure things out. We'll roll a D6. 
and one, so in the park. Amira made a point to be seen in the park and a new acquaintance, made a new acquaintance in the process. No, <laughs> Amelia, <laughs> I didn't want you to paint. Okay, hold on. Belinda, you come over here. It was lovely to meet you today, Miss Bassett. I do hope we'll be seeing more of each other. Let's see if it changed their relationship at all. Not really, but that's okay. Okay, you need to have, make a classic painting. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fun. Although this video is getting long, so I should probably stop soon, but uh, this is fun. Actually, let's roll for all these guys while we're at it. Okay, so Zane... Um, actually he is the, uh, he is a, what did I say he was? He's a baron. And then, uh, he is the second son of a baron. Okay. So Zane is going to roll for whether, what, like he is. Zane is a seven. Ooh, which I think makes him like a duke. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, okay. And is he the first son of the Duke? <gasps> he is. Okay, well, he's a future Duke. Why do I never know what tab I'm trying to click on? Okay, he is the future Duke, but he's not illegit. Hey, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, and then Raza. We'll roll for Raza next. Four. Viscount. And. Oh my gosh, we're only getting heads for these guys. So he is a future Viscount. Good for him. Okay. So she is painting. I didn't even check. Uh, painting level four. Okay, we need to keep going. Whatever, you can paint whatever you want. Where was I? Um, musical skill. You were working on your musical skill at the piano. She's almost there. Oh, I want you to practice. Um, and then you, I mean, you can work on research and debate, I guess. But you should work on your guitar skill because you need to get to level five. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Amelia is feeling great. She's telling her father about how excited she is to get her first proposal. Oh, wait. Is this her father? Yeah. Okay. Her father and her brother look really similar. Oh, she's so excited for her first proposal. I love this for her. Oh, I'm so happy for her. She is feeling so great. Maybe we should end this on a high note, you guys. We should end this video on a high note. I don't, we, what are you doing? Stop it. Um, this is great. I feel like, okay, this is a great stopping point. Um, let me know what drama you think is going to start unfolding. I wanted to just start it off just, you know, having the debutante ball, meeting all the suitors, seeing, you know, what the deal is with the different suitors who like her, who she likes. I mean, she likes all of them, which is just awesome. I mean, I think that she just doesn't feel like she knows Buana enough to, uh, and like she hasn't met all of the guys. I think that it's going to be hard for her to be picky because she is going to be picky, right? She's looking for a love match. She's looking for the perfect match, just like her parents. And I think that she, in doing that, might have some trouble actually deciding who she wants to be with. So this is very exciting. Honestly, I'm not even convinced now that I'm going to make sure she ends up with Robert or not, but I'm just, it's just great. She has to end up with Robert though, because that's what it says in the book. But let me know what you guys think. Maybe I could just rename whoever it is to Robert <laughs> when the time comes. I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So far, she has four suitors that she's really into. And, oh my gosh, it's love day today. So um, she has four suitors. She's feeling great. She is very happy about her prospects. I'm just taking notes on everyone. Um, oh, hold on. Let me write that one up proposed to her so there's that that's a big deal 
Buona has proposed and is giving her time to think about it. Okay, Edward Bassett. Okay, so we'll need to roll for Edward again later. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and we're just going to give the baby a quick makeover. You guys, this is so exciting. I can't believe that it's already going so well for her. I thought that I was going to really have to drive the ship here, but she is just doing it all on her own. Oh, what a cutie. Hello, little Edward. Um, let's see, what should you wear? I guess just like some regular baby clothes. I don't know. Let's get little Edward's picture in the family tree. A little suit, a little tiny suit. Okay, honestly, it could not matter any less what you're wearing because you are not really part of the story. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, he is an intense baby though. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys, this is so great. I'm having so much fun. Um, I hope you really liked this. Let me know again, ideas, thoughts, suggestions. Should I drama roll next time? What should we do? We'll have to kind of see where we go from here. So let's, yeah. I feel like maybe we should only do one. Well, so it's hard because part of me is like, we should only do one drama roll for the for the year or for yeah for like the social season but then I think like some of the roles are like host a party like of course we can host a party you know like that's not hard <laughs> but obviously having someone trying to ruin our family is tough <laughs> um so I don't know oh I have to did I never change his name though yeah it still says Bridgerton hold on let me fix that too So yeah, anyway, let's add a brother. Edward Bassett is a male, was born in 1834. And um, I guess, so he has the courtesy title. I guess Edward doesn't really have a courtesy title. He's just considered a lord. Actually, technically all these should be lady, not miss. So Lord Bassett, okay. And then we'll get a photo, Bridgerton, Edward, upload. You are not Edward Bridgerton, you are Edward Bassett. You're second in line for the dukedom now. Okay. Well, I think that that's probably where we're going to stop for today, but this was great. We made great progress. We're going to have to really think of some drama and stuff to start ramping things up. But for right now, like I said, I just wanted to introduce everybody, introduce the men, have the debutante ball. And next time we will really start to dig into each of them and what's going on. And we'll have to be flexible depending on how the Sims react. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I'm having so much fun. This, this was just great. So I'm really excited about the future and I'll catch you in the next one.